This is a demonstration for a neurological examination and uh, as you know neurological examination is a little long and hard but we did too much work just to make it you know we did uh, too many modifications to make it uh, more suitable for the requirements of this examination and it, as you remember the uh, mini this is the uh, mnemonics that we used before mini cranium may sense move walk with a special maneuver this mnemonic that we used in history we are going to use it in the neurological examination so m stands for mini mental status exam C, cranial nerves, sensory, motor, walking means gait and the cerebellum, and special maneuvers. Okay, so the question is here, are we going to do a complete neurological examination in all neurological cases? <laughs> what do you think? We're going to take like or more than 10 minutes, but we're going to do, we're going to make it, um, we compress it. And we can do the, the basics first. I recommend you to do cranial, sensory, motor. Those are the basics. And one test, one test only for the cerebellum. Okay, don't please, don't do mini mental states examination unless the memory is affected. If you have a patient with headache and he's alert and doesn't have any problem in his memory, I think this, this step can be skipped. However, if you have a patient who has forgetfulness, it should be done. This is a mini mental status examination. A few questions do not ask, ask all the patient, ask only if needed. Ask the patient, excuse me, could you tell me your full name? Suarez so Sabi. Uh, what year is it? 2016. Who is the president of the United States? Barack Obama. Could you spell cat backwards to me? TEC. TEC. Okay, I'm going to tell you uh, three names. Please repeat after me. Yeah. Uh, wall roof floor. Wall roof floor. Okay, I'm going to ask you after that to repeat them. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the mini mental status examination. Okay, don't waste your time to do them in all patients unless there is a, there is affection of the memory. So I'm going now to just to demonstrate the basics of the neurological examination, and then we can add uh, after that more. Okay, uh, uh, Mr. Sammy, I'm going to do examination of your nerves. Okay. Excuse me. Could you cover your right eye? Could you count this for me? One. And this? Five. Could you cover the, the other eye? Could you count that? Two. And that? Four. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Don't, don't move your head, okay? And follow only my finger with your eyes, okay? Thank you so much. Excuse me, I'm going to test the nerves of your face. Does it feel equal on both sides? Yeah. What about here? Yeah. What about here? Yeah. Okay, excuse me, close your eyes firmly, don't merely open them. Close firmly. Okay. Keep them closed. From which side you hear the sound? Yeah. And this side? Right. Okay. Clench your teeth, please. You can open your eyes now. Clench your teeth. I'm examining the muscles of your face. Okay. Could you show me your teeth? Could you stick your tongue out? Could you move it from side to side? Okay. Could you push against my hand? To the other side? Could you shrug the right shoulder up? Shrug the other one? Okay. Now I'm going to, to examine the sensation in your, in your uh, arms and legs. Okay. Excuse me. I'm going to drag your gown up. Does it feel equal on both sides? Yeah. What about here? Yeah. What about here? Yeah. Okay. Could you hold my fingers firmly? Squeeze them. Okay. Please, squeeze them. Okay. Could you, excuse me, relax with me? Push out. Push out. Pull in. Pull in. Up. Down. Up. Down. I'm going now examine your legs. Push up against my hand. Down. Kick out, pull in. The same on the other leg, up. Kick out, pull in, push up, push up. Okay. Excuse me, with your finger, touch your finger and then touch my nose. Touch my finger and then touch your nose. Okay. Touch my finger, touch your nose. Touch my finger, touch your nose. Okay, thank you. As you watched, 
in less than four minutes I did sensory I did motor I did cerebral one examination for the cerebellum there is many examinations but I don't have too much time okay this is the basics just a review I, I composite the cranial nerves together okay first I started with we started with the olfactory just to go to the this is a detailed one Kirina nerves. Number E, olfactory. There is no need for olfactory, no smell. Don't test the smell in the CS examination. Optic nerve, no need to test for the smell in short. There is no time. I, what I did is a counting finger. Okay? Uh, I, I asked the patient to cover the eye, his eye. Could you cover your eyes? And then I tested for the counting finger. And then I did the oculomotor, trochlear, and the abducent, the extraocular muscle. I said to the patient, don't move your head, and asked him to follow my finger with his eyes. Okay, and I used H shaped. Just imagine this is H, and okay, you can follow up, down, and then cross, and this is for the conversion. Okay, and then I did trigeminal nerve sensory. Okay, this is the uh, ophthalmic, and this is the maxillary, and this is the, the mag uh, mandibular branches. And I asked, I asked the patient, or I tested the sensation in each branch. And then I asked him to crunch his teeth to test for the masseter and the temporalis muscle. This is for the motor branch for the trigemin. Facial nerve, I did test for the orbicularis, orbicularis equi. Okay, I asked him to, to close his eyes firmly, and I assisted him. <coughs> you need a tissue? Okay, this is a communication interpersonal skills. And then I asked him to, to, uh, to show me his teeth this, uh, for, the, uh, for the, his mouth. <coughs> okay. <coughs> you need water? Yeah. You need water? Okay. okay. Okay, this is a communication interpersonal skill. The vision cops give him a, call, uh, a piece of tissue. If he wants, uh, if he wants some water, give him some water. Okay. Uh, a facial nerve. We did it. Then the cochlear nerve. What the patient is? He was closing his eyes. I asked him from which side, and this is the examination for the cochlear branch. And then no examination for glossopharyngeal. Uh, for the uh, for the vagus nerve, for the vagus nerve, I did together vagus and hypoglossin. I opened his mouth. Okay, previously in the in the general examination, and then I, as I asked them to stick his tongue out and then move to, from side to side. This is for hypoglossal, and finally accessory nerve, the sternomastoid, and I asked them to to move his sternomastoid and the accessory nerve for the shoulder movement, trapezius muscle. This is a, a very focused. You know, I, I I work too much to composite this movement and do the cranial nerves in this short time, and then the sensory as we did. Okay, and then sensory, okay, and the motor, the motor include the motor tone, muscle tone, skip it, and the muscle power, and then the, the, uh, the t deep tendon reflexes, okay. Just a, a, a fine demonstration, in the upper limb we have uh, biceps, we have triceps, we have brachioradialis, okay. Biceps, okay, feel the biceps tendon, and, and this is the jerk, and in, in triceps, could you bring? Could you come here, please? Okay. Try to support the the arm. Okay, and make the, the jerks very you know very slippery, very fine, and hit the tendon of the triceps and watch for. It's not necessary for. You should watch for the twitch here. Okay, and this is for the brachioradialis. Hit directly on the brachioradialis, but brachioradialis muscle. Okay. On the lower limb we have the uh, ankle. And we have the uh, the knee. For the knee, okay, this is the knee joint. Could you clench your hands together? Okay. And the the classically the uh, ankle joint. Ankle jerk should be done with while the patient is laying back. I could do demonstrate right now. You can do it. You just make a, a little dorsal flexion and look for the hamstring muscle. Okay. Can you lay back, please, for me? Just I will demonstrate for you the the ankle classic ankle joint. Excuse me. Relax with me, please. Bring the uh, the leg on the other one. Okay, and make uh, uh, make uh, uh, a little dorsiflexion and 
hit the the uh, the tendon, tendon, tendon Achilles. Okay, this is for the ankle joint. Uh, this is for the motor power. I did cerebellar uh, one test only for the cerebellum, which is finger to nose. That's enough. And uh, you can do the rapid alternating movement. Could you uh, sit up, please? Okay. Another test, which is rapid alternating movement. Can you do that for me? Okay. Thank you so much. And then gait. Gait. Excuse me. Could you step down, please? I'm going to help you. Yeah. Excuse me. Could you walk in a straight line to the wall? Yeah, yes, walk in a straight line. Could you turn around? Come to me. Okay, that's nice. Okay. Could you bring your arms in front of you, please? Close your eyes. And beside you, don't worry. This is a Romberg sign. Open your eyes. This is a Romberg sign. Excuse me, you can sit down. Okay. <coughs> few tests here okay three of them for the in for the meningeal irritation which uh, the next stiffness uh, broad stiffness key care next test they are going to be positive if there is any meningeal irritation in cases of meningitis encephalitis or even in uh, subarachnoid hemorrhage I'm going to, to administrate them for for you right now okay sir Sammy could you lay back again please okay okay the first thing is the neck stiffness, okay? You are going to see, you're going to, uh, you're going to uh, see the, the, the neck stiff, okay? So this is a flexed nib, but if the neck is stiff, the patient will simulate to you the stiffness of the, of the neck. This is the first test. Second is the Brodzinski. Brodzinski, uh, uh, suppose that I'm going to demonstrate the normal reaction. Okay, could you flex? I'm going to flex your neck. This is normal reaction. Okay, I'm going now to, <coughs> to simulate the abnormal reaction. Upon flexion of the neck, the patient will flex the hip and the knees. Okay, this is the for the uh, for the uh, neck. For the care neck, okay, while, excuse me, I'm going to flex your leg. In flexed hip and the in, in flexed knee, extended the, the, the knee more. And the test for any pain, this is normal. Suppose there is abnormal, there is any pain, the patient will express his pain. Okay? And uh, key, key, remember, key for knee. Remember, key for key. And I demonstrated Romberg test for you. And finally, the Babineski, it is a sign of, uh, you know, the sign of upper motor neuron lesion. J just scratch the lateral border of the foot, okay, to see for any abnormal. Uh, this is normal. If there is fanning, fanning of the of the tools it's, it's at a positive babinski test for babinski test uh, test for the upper motor neuron lesion okay this is normal there is no no reaction but if there is a fanning and the dorsiflexion this is a positive babinski just a quick review for the neurological examination mini cranium sense move walk with a special maneuver with the minimal test examination Curinial sensation, motor, walk, which is gait and cerebellum and special maneuvers. We did for you the Kernix, Nick Stephanus, Brodzinski. Thank you so much and I hope the best for you. Thank you.